Welcome back. Um, as you guys might have saw if you watched yesterday's video, we bought some open water gear in Minnesota, which, well, what are you guys doing? There's open water in Minnesota? Yeah, there is. And we are gonna be targeting some smallmouth today. We've got Sam's girlfriend with us, a friend that I picked up from the airport today, Rebecca. She's gonna be fishing with us for the next couple days as well. The moral of the story is, uh, she said she never caught a smallmouth before and she was coming to the Minneapolis area. So we're mm -hmm. gonna try and put her on her first smallmouth along with Sam's girlfriend too, who is, okay. what are you doing over there? She's putting some warm socks on, but today is 40 degrees in Minneapolis. So this could be interesting. I've already seen some dude catch three smallmouth by the time I'm getting my rods rigged. Mm -hmm. So I've Rebecca's never, never caught a smallmouth before. So this is her first time. And we've got some rods. Uh, luckily Murray let me borrow some of his uh, favorite rods. So we've got some rods and we're about to soak some line and Brent and uh, Andrew are also coming. So we've got a whole group of guys coming out here like I always have been doing these past couple days out here fishing, so it should be fun. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens. I feel like every day I meet a new Team UConn member, but this one actually pl pl plays professional basketball. He's 6'6". Uh, six, six. So he's a- Got a oh. wingspan, you know, <laughs> bigger than an eagle. He's a foot taller than me, but he's gonna show me kind of a rig he likes to use out here with a little egg sinker. It's called the gummy worm rig. The gummy worm rig. So we're gonna use, do a little live bait fishing today and also a little bit of, I'll have a bait caster in my hands. We're back you know, here. you can catch them on live bait, but it's more fun to catch them on a jerk bait or a tube. Yeah. We're still gonna catch them on a live bait rig though. We're gonna do everything. We're gonna do everything. Steph, what's going on? <laughs> Why are you drinking a 24 ounce? Oh, it's a 16 ounce Red Bull. Yeah, I was just a little tired this morning. Why were you tired? We went to the wild game last night and she is, <laughs> she's not doing good this morning. I'm doing just fine, I'm just She's drinking tired. a Red Bull, she's tired. walking all over the place. It's what? just, <laughs> but let's talk about the setups of what we got going on. We're gonna set Rebecca and Steph up with a live bait rig like we just showed you with Andrew. I've got, Andrew's got a blade bait, a jerk bait, a drop shot. I'm focusing on that crawl like I used last year and uh, what John caught some fish on here earlier this year too. This is the same river uh, that John was fishing. It's a heat discharge and uh, it could get interesting because there's some big fish in here. From New Jersey and around New Jersey, uh, we don't really have small mouth. Well, I'm from South Jersey, so there's not many small mouth near me. I'm usually catching large mouth, and if I do, they're not even like that big. So this is all different for me. Just flew out to Minnesota and catching my first small mouth. If I do, I'm pretty excited. Pretty cold too. We're trying two different setups. Like I said, I'm using artificial. Becca's using the sucker. Andrew's coming out here with a sled and the minnow bucket. The whole thing. The whole thing. Dialed. What? You're dialed. Okay. All right. So for the setup today, yep. using a medium or a small sucker, uh, running, running just an owner hook with a pink glow bead, uh, 12 pound uh, mono. You want the stretch with the rocks out here and stuff. So when you snag up on a rock, you want to be able to pull on it, pop it back, you know, and drop your line. It'll, usually pop it off. A uh, quarter ounce to a half ounce egg sinker, depending on the current. Uh, we're running a quarter ounce today. Um, always have it on a slip. It seems if you have it like a clip on weight, they feel that pulling across your rocks and they'll drop your bait actually. So always keep it on a slip like that. I'm running 30 pound braid, just a medium, medium action rod. And uh, let's catch them. <laughs> let's catch them. <laughs> let's catch them. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. Yes, first fish of the day, finally. It's a nice one. It's your first smallmouth. Is this small? Oh yeah. Check that out. My first smallmouth. I don't know, they're cool. They're they, different. Did they fight harder than a large one? Yeah. yeah. They like fight with their side, it feels like, I don't know. So right there, that was just on that little live bait rig and we're, these guys behind us keep whacking them so we kind of move down and that's what happens when you kind of find a school of fish. There's definitely fish right in this pocket. I kind of want to go try up there. You have fish. Oh my, God. oh my gosh, that ate it right there. 
That's two. So we've got four lines out here and she's the only one who's caught two so far. New Jersey luck, beginner's luck. Is my commentary just dry today? It's a little bit dry today. Sam's looking at me behind the lens like, wow, you really need to learn how to talk today. Look at that gorgeous specimen of bass right there. She doesn't want my a picture. My last one was bigger than that one. See ya. Bye, bud. So a big thing down here is like, there's a bunch of anglers obviously fishing down the bank and they're all using the same thing, which is the sucker minnow and a hook. It's really effective, especially when it's this cold out. Uh, the water temps are probably in the 40s, mid 40s, lower 40s, somewhere around there. And um, I've, de I've decided to use a crawl, which could work. But when you're seeing a bunch of live bait down the bank, obviously smallmouth is a little bit more tending to go to the live bait. Just tackle tips today. Tackle tips on this Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, you too. Oh, oh she's on. Look at her. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, Steph. It's like a three pounder. That was fun. We're sitting there focusing that way, you know, we're looking at the deep hole, and then all of a sudden I look behind me and Steph's just bent over on a nice three pound. Three, that's like be four pounds, three and a half. Your biggest nice smallmouth ever? Definitely my biggest smallmouth ever. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Just so pretty much I'm the guide out here. I'm not really fishing. I'm just putting these ladies on some fish today. Yeah, that's good. He's doing good so far. I've been fishing the whole time. I haven't even got a bite, so. <laughs> Unreal. The girls are showing up the guys a little bit. I caught one, Seth caught one. He's caught nothing. Um, you know what? <laughs> Andrew hasn't caught one either, and we're slowly making it over to where we saw them being pulled out left and right, so maybe the boys can finally get one, right? So the craw's not working out. I'm gonna go put on a little swim bait, uh, also get some more minnows by the truck, and uh, she's gonna have to do it all by herself now. No help from me. Cause I've, cause I've helped her pretty much catch all of those. No, there's a fish, there's a fish. Fish on! About time. Just a little cutie. So, I did bite the bullet and I did end up using some some live bait with a little jig head. Uh, just your classic river walleye smallmouth technique. And that one is probably about a pound. Andrew's on, Andrew lost it. Oh my gosh, he's freaking out. Andrew's been fishing live bait since we've got out here and he has not yet landed a fish. And that's probably been five minutes of me fishing with live bait. Just insane. That wasn't that insane, that was just a small off and light bait. I don't know why I said that. That's her third fish of the day. We moved down here. This kind sir let us kind of come in on his spot and he uh, showed us what we're doing wrong. We weren't doing anything wrong. Hold we were that. just in the wrong spot. Is this a fish? You got one? Um, uh, uh, big. Oh yeah, this is just a pig. We come down by you and now we're catching them. Oh yeah, look at that fish. <laughs> Just absolutely annihilated right, that minnow. Oh, don't lose it! <laughs> and there goes that smallmouth, but look at this fish. All the fish are just down here in this little pool. Does anybody have a, a pliers or no? Do we have semi-proof here to go home? We have semi-proof here. Oh, well, we had a sick double there. I caught a nice fish, probably three and a half pounds. She got a nice two pounder, and we were gonna take a picture, and they both left. I was like, for sure that was a fish. That was a stick. Came right back and hit me in the face. <laughs> You should just stay in here. Don't bring uh, leaky <laughs> waiters to Minnesota. Tip of the day for you folks. This stuff needs a real fuck here. Little one. But always good. Fun. Here's number two. Not as big, but still fun. Put up a good fight. 
Hope to get some more before the sun goes down. So we're recasting it like this, like that way, this way. This way, that way, okay. No, it's alright. It's a good one too. Get over here, brother. Get over here. <laughs> That's a nice one. <laughs> so Rebecca's waders filled up, and uh, she kind of handed the pole off to me. So I'm gonna do some fishing now. Just stuck a pretty nice one. Number three of the day. Definitely, I think, the biggest of it. At least of mine. That was so much fun. Put up a good fight. Definitely my biggest smallmouth ever. That was so much fun. That is the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. And that was so much fun. All right, we'll oh, bring him back in the water. That's an absolute mule. Look at that big girl. Oh, she swims <laughs> off. Give me some of that. That's that's nice job. Fun. That was awesome. <sighs> Steph caught like a three and a half pounder fun. earlier today, and it was like a really awesome fish. And I was like, wow, she totally like knocked her personal best smallmouth out yeah. of the park. And then you hooked in that one, like, and that it was, was gorgeous. So much fun. <laughs> That was that sick. Was fun. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one doubled over. That's a good one. Feels good to be back. I know. Oh my gosh, that's a toad. That's a toad. Look at this beast. Come, oh, oh, look at that, look at that. Barely hooked. Right in the top fin, or top of the mouth. And that fish hammered it five feet away from us. These fish are coming up right on the sand and catching toads. See ya! Oh, ho, ho. I got me one! Should we try to bolt flip it? I don't know if I'm gonna get it, here we go. That's a giant! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby. Look at the belly on that thing. Thing just thing just ate your minnow. I can still feel it in there kicking. So that fish actually just, just crushed it. If I can get him unhooked, because my hands are really numb right now. There we go. Ouch. There it is, man. I finally did it. Finally did it. Look at that beautiful speckled brown belly beast. Yeah, baby. Later. Oh, oh. oh, baby, it's a giant. What I was saying was I'm kind of bummed that the sun's going down because we're gonna actually have to eventually get off the river when these fish just bite so good out here. It's a giant. I haven't battled one on the spinning rod yet. Another gorgeous fish, and that's number four, so now we're tied. Yeah. Rebecca right, and I are tied. Four to four. Gorgeous smallmouth there. We have to stay on the river until Rello catches one, though, because he can't leave without a catching a fish. Especially when... This will be day number two. <laughs> Yeah, in yesterday's video, Rello didn't catch a fish either. I'm sorry. This minnow is going to catch me one. What? I got one. Smallest one of the day. I don't even think this would keep in a tournament. That is the first one I've caught of the entire day. So, now we're going to leave. I was the hold up. We were waiting until I caught one. And I smashed a giant 12 incher. So we're going to end the night on that. Happy Valentine's Day. And that's a wrap, I think. See you, buddy. Great to meet you, eh? We'll talk to you soon, eh? Yeah, we'll talk to you soon.
Well, so that is what uh, happens when you catch some fish on the river. Super fun day. She caught her first smallmouth. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow we have plans at night to do something epic. We've got a lot of fishing in the next couple days, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed a little river smallmouth episode. We will catch you guys next time. Oh, I don't know.